Hi, my name is Heather Miller and I work for Haymarket Gainesville Library and today we're going to be going over a French braid. For this tutorial, we'll need some elastic bands. I'll be using clear ones since my assistant has lighter hair, but you can use darker bands to blend with darker hair. We'll be using a clip to pin extra hair out of the way while we're working, and you'll always want a comb handy to brush out any tangles. For this tutorial, I'm adding two little French braids above either ear to add more texture to our main French braid. First, brush out your hair. Once you're done, use your finger or a fine tooth comb to segment off a section of hair about an inch or two above the ear. Use your pin to clip the excess hair out of your way. Take a small amount of hair from the front of that segment and further divide it into three. Start with a basic English braid. Add some hair to the top and bottom strands. Take your top strands and cross it over the middle strands, making your top strands your new middle strands. Take your bottom strands and cross it over your middle strands, making this your new middle strand. Add more hair to the new top and bottom strands and repeat one more time if you have the space. Do a basic English braid the rest of the way down. Tie this braid off at the bottom. Then, we'll do the other side. Comb this side out, and again, split off a segment of hair about an inch or two above the ear. Divide the front of that segment into three smaller ones. This method will be a little easier to see when I switch to the main central braid. For a different hairstyle, you can tie these two braids together in the back for more of a Mirkwood Elf look. Comb the hair towards the back. Take a segment from the front and divide that segment into three. Do one basic English braid. From there, gather more hair from either side to add to your outer segments. Take your left segment and cross it over the middle strands, making this your new middle. Take your right strands and cross it over the middle, making the right strand your new middle strand. Gather more hair to add to your outer strands and repeat this process. When you get to the mini braids that we did earlier, add them as you would the rest of your hair. Once you're done adding hair, continue with an English braid to the very end and tie it off. Here is our completed hairstyle. The two smaller French braids add a little texture to your main one. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for being with us today.